following video showcases the views and opinions of young adults from the age group of 9 to 18 years. This is an attempt to get students to speak about issues that are close to their heart. Watch and get a glimpse of what the future of India is thinking and where is India's youth headed. Viewers are requested to consider the student's age before judging and voting. How many of us use websites like Gmail, search engines like Google, video sharing websites like YouTube and of course social media like Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Probably billions and millions. But how many of us really know that these websites and apps are run by AI technology, something that made them what they are today? Hardly a few. Hello everyone, I am Hriday Viruparel an AI aspirant and a Scribido Talks ambassador, introducing the most interesting and modern aspect of technology, that is AI or artificial intelligence to not only the AI aspirants out there, but also to those who are unaware about the basic ABC of artificial intelligence. A few days back, I spoke to my friend regarding my success at the auditions of Scribido Talks with artificial intelligence as my topic. He was startled to hear such a weird word and his first reaction was like, what is that? Well, probably 63% of people who would be watching this talk would have the same feeling because they might have heard the term AI, but they don't know what basically it is. Despite constantly using Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, Google Home, then um, uh, Siri, Cortana, which are basically AI systems in their day-to-day -day lives. So, artificial intelligence or AI is basically the intelligence of computers or machines, especially advanced robots, which enables it to perform certain cognitive and intellectual tasks. Okay, Sim in simple words, brainy tasks, as good as natural human intelligence can or even better. The birth of AI was in 1956, when the father of AI, John McCarthy, termed the intelligence of machines as AI. The present artificial intelligence is called as artificial narrow intelligence and is basically dumb, is basically able to perform only a single task at a time. I'll give you an example. A few years back, I asked Siri, Hey Siri, what is 10.51 minus 5.25? A simple mathematical question, right? The answer is 5.26 and here's what Siri said. Today is Sunday, 8th November 2015. See, this is what today's scenario is about AI. They don't interpret properly. And the future AI with human level intelligence is called AGI or Artificial General Intelligence, which is capable of performing all the tasks that an ordinary human being can perform. The third generation of AI called as Artificial Super Intelligence or ASI is capable of performing all those tasks that we can't even think about. ASI is going to be much more smarter than humans. So why am I talking on this topic? What is the purpose of me talking on a topic that almost no one is concerned about? Well, I strongly believe that artificial intelligence is a very sensitive technology. Once active, the AI systems begin to develop and become capable of thought processing and decision making on their own, just like humans. We should remember and also remind ourselves that humans are at the top of the food web not because we are the strongest species. Elephants are stronger than us, but because we are the smartest species. So, okay, let me give you an example. How many of you have seen Avengers Age of Ultron? Probably millions and billions. Well, Ultron, the main villain, yes, he is a, an, AI system, he's an AI system who is capable of thought processing. And basically, his main motive was to destroy humanity using his AI technology power. Whereas on the other hand, Jarvis, the hero, the savior, the system inside Iron Man's suit was a helpful AI system. If AI systems develop like Ultron, then if AI systems develop like Ultron, then there's a possibility that we are actually summoning a technological demon for World War 3. And the amazing fact is that we won't be fighting against humanity or against humans. Instead, we would be fighting against AI war machines for humanity. And in such a situation, no heroic, no heroic heroes or any fant fantasy heroes like Thor or Hulk or 
iron man or vision would come and save us from such a tragedy so our main motive should not be to develop an ai system like ultron but an ai like jarvis by carefully aligning the goals and aims of ai systems with that of human beings in order to prevent any conflicts between the two it is rightly said by stephen hawking that ai is likely to be the best or the worst thing to happen to humanity and so i define ai technology as the final invention success at it will lead us to a new world where nothing is usual instead a new world filled with new technological diversities beyond imagination however failure at it would lead us to a conquered life filled with unhappiness or to a situation of human extinction and the dawn of the machine race the main motive of ai technology is not to be overpowered but to be empowered as said by max techmark thank you and have a safe day with ai don't forget to like and subscribe this video is brought to you by suyojit viridian valleys